Hello, and this is Jeff from idigbitcoin.com. Uh, I'm just going to take a few minutes uh, in this video to uh, show you a little bit about Litecoin GPU mining. Um, that's mining Litecoins and other script-based cryptocurrencies uh, using your uh, built-in video card. Um, fortunately, it's, it's still possible to, uh, to mine using a GPU. Uh, if you're going after the script coins, um, mining uh, Bitcoin with your GPU uh, is not recommended. Um, I'll show you why. Um, let's see, bring this up. Okay, currently, uh, if we look at Litecoin difficulty on the day I record this, which is uh, July 2nd, 2014, uh, we're just under 15,000. Um, Litecoin difficulty. Uh, compare that to the Bitcoin difficulty, uh, 16.8 billion. Okay, um, big difference there. Um, I mean, yes, Bitcoin is worth a lot more than Litecoin, but with that kind of difficulty, you need uh, some serious hash rates uh, to get any kind of meaningful mining done. Um, Mining Bitcoin at that kind of difficulty using your, your video card, um, again, I don't recommend it. You're going to be spending more in electricity than you are actually going to be mining. Um, but Litecoin, again, we're at a nice low difficulty here still. Um, this applies to, uh, to other altcoins. Um, your script-based altcoins, they don't require nearly as much, um, you know, hashing power as, as your SHA-256 coins like Bitcoin do. So, why don't we go ahead, um, I just want to show you one thing here. If you go to, uh, to, uh, Litecoin info, or, sorry, Litecoin.info, uh, on this page. I uh, see on the uh, right hand side here under mining, uh, if you check out mining hardware comparison, this will bring up uh, a list of popular uh, uh, GPUs, popular graphics cards. Um, and it'll show you uh, like uh, what you can get for, for uh, kilohash per second here. Um, mostly you're going to want to want the, uh, the higher end video cards that you would use for uh, gaming or uh, 3D animation or something like that. Particularly the um, uh, the Radeon HD series and the uh, the AMD uh, R9 series um, are still pretty good for for altcoin mining. Um, let me take a look at some of the um, some of the ones here. Now I'm using what I have right now in mine is a Radeon HD uh, 6790. Uh, don't know if they have it here or not. Uh, 6790. 6790. Uh, yeah, here's one. It shows 236, and that's that uh, 236 kilohash. Per second. That's about what I'm getting between 200 and 250 on my video card. Um, that video card is a little bit older. Um, if you have a newer one, more powerful one with a little bit more RAM on it, uh, you can get up to, you know, you can see 500 here. Um, you know, it gets in the 600s uh, if, if you're in the 7900 uh, series. Uh, if you've got one of the newer R9 models, um, these are great for uh, for altcoin mining. Let's take you up 700, 800, um, you know, up to, up to you know one mega mega hash of uh, of mining power there. So it's it's not too bad, um, you know, if you don't want to spend thousands of dollars on on uh, dedicated ASIC hardware, um, you can still you know make a few coins doing it this way. Um, mind you, you're going to be using more electricity. Okay, a, uh, a video card running at full tilt, that's going to go about. That's going to draw about uh, you know 250 watts. That's in addition to what your desktop computer is already using. 
probably another 200 to 250. So count on about 500 watts being used for mining if you're using a video card. Um, you know, as opposed to an ASIC, which, you know, it, it can be as low as, you know, one watt per, per megahertz, you know. But again, if you don't have that kind of hardware and you want to use your, your video card, um, this is what you can do. Um, if you look at this, uh, well, I guess I can't show it very well. Um, this uh, second to last column over. This will show you some of the settings that you can use that people have found for, for this particular model of video card that works well for them. Um, I is for intensity, uh, thread concurrency. Uh, you'll want to. Um, I would set that at the at the recommended uh, level here. And shaders, you know, any uh, anything that gives you like an engine speed, uh, a mem clock speed. Uh, take note of that if if your video card is listed here. Um, Nvidia cards not recommended for for mining. Uh, as you can see in the uh, kilohash per second column, um, not very impressive numbers here, um, even on the high end high end ones. Um, like there's a 430. I think that's the highest one I could find. I don't know 485. Um, still pretty low compared to the AMDs. Um, don't know why that is. It's just a difference in manufacturing. Um, you know, in, in Nvidia may be good for gaming, but uh, not really recommended for uh, for mining. They just they just don't seem to to pull the same kind of numbers that uh, the AMD cards do. Okay, now to set these settings, um, again, these are some recommended settings uh, that other users have posted that work for them. Um, but what I'll show you is the um, okay, the the really imp important settings you want to go for, and I'm using CG Miner here. Um, you can use uh, BFG Miner; they they're pretty much similar. What you want to do in your main menu here, okay, pool management, GPU management, settings, display options, quit. Uh, go into GPU settings, press G. Okay, you're going to want to see change settings. Okay, now you notice that on mine, um, the engine clock is set at 840 megahertz, memory clock is set at 1050 megahertz. Again, my card is a little bit older. But it's, it's these two settings that you want to change, the engine clock and the memory clock. So in this menu, we go, we press E for engine. Okay, and it recommends uh, to go no faster than 950 megahertz for, for my particular card. It's currently running at 840. Um, don't go to the max on this. That could cause problems. What I usually go is just a little bit under the max. I usually go 900 on mine, and for memory, uh, it can go up to 1250. My card can. Again, I go a little bit lower than that. Probably about 1200 is good on that, and uh, it'll show you there that my uh, my engine is now at uh, 900, and my memory clock is now at 1200. Uh, the next thing, you, the next setting you want to change, you want to go to automatic A. And uh, fan auto tune. Okay, so hit F, and it says fan auto tune is now enabled. You want to do that so that uh, your video card has automatic control over how fast your fan runs, the fan on the graphics card itself. Okay, now you want to set uh, a couple temperature uh, limits on this. So again, go to automatic. T for target. Okay. You want your target temperature no higher than 80 degrees Celsius. Okay, I'll set that to 80. Automatic again, O for overheat. You don't want it to go past 85. Okay, um, th this is set up so that it's going to target uh, 80 degrees to 85 degrees. If it hits 85, it's going to crank that fan up 
and lower your temperature for you. And you see right now my, my fan is running at uh, 77 uh, degrees Celsius. Okay. It'll let it go up to 80. Okay. And if, if, if it gets too hot, if it reaches that 85, it's, the fan's going to kick in and lower that temperature down. All right, now we're done with this menu here. So just press any other key to go back to the previous menu. Um, your next setting is going to be intensity. Hit I. Um, now it's recommending. Um, yeah, it's recommending up to 14 for mine. Um, it'll be different for yours. You'll see some of some of these uh, R9 cards. Uh, they've got them going up to uh, an intensity of 20. Um, on mine, I usually uh, don't go past the maximum. I'll set it to 14. Um, I'm, I'm not going to do that right now because if I do that right now, um, my video card is going to kick into overdrive, and uh, my actual recording of this screenshot uh, is going to be affected if I do that. Um, but what I would normally do here is set it to 15, hit enter, uh, hit enter again to get out of that previous menu, and uh, just let it mine from there, and uh, we're all set. So anyway, those are the settings. Um, again, check out uh, uh, Litecoin info or Litecoin dot info rather. Um, Go to mineware hard or mining hardware comparison and see if your video card is listed on this list. Um, if it is, um, make sure to use some of the, the suggested settings. Um, if your video card is not listed on here, um, again, your important settings are your um, your GPU uh, engine clock speed and your uh, memory clock speed. Uh, you want to auto enable um, your fan. You want to uh, set your your target temperature around 80 degrees Celsius. Your overheat temperature no more than 85. Um, you're, you'll melt your machine if you if you go any higher than that. And uh, then set your uh, your intensity. You can try different intensities if you want to start off low. Um, see if it works okay for you. If you start having problems, like if you're uh, if your screen starts to break up, um, you know, from, from the video card being overused, you may want to lower that intensity down a little bit. But uh, you know, using those basic settings, you should get, um, you know, these these kind of numbers here that uh, that are listed in the, the kilohash per second. Anyway, that's all I have for this video. Um, make sure to go to uh, idigbitcom. idigbitcoin.com and uh, I've got uh, a mining tutorial on there in case you've never mined before. It shows you how to use uh, CG Miner, um, how to sign up for a mining pool, and uh, and set your uh, your workers up and everything to get going. Uh, some good information there. Lots of good information on IDIG Bitcoin. Um, I have a hardware comparison chart there if you're interested in in purchasing some ASIC uh, hardware. I uh, try to keep an up-to-date list of um, of all the the current generation of hardware that's out there right now and compares them based on price, based on, on hashing power and so forth. So uh, check it out, idigbitcoin.com. And uh, until next time, this is Jeff, and I'll uh, talk to you later. Bye-bye.